Hi! In this video, we'll be talking about NumPy array dimensions. We'll be using the Jupyter Notebook just like in the previous two videos. First, let's import NumPy. And now ready to go. In NumPy, we can create multidimensional arrays. The arrays we've been creating so far or all one dimensional. You can check it out using the endim method. So a equals np array 1, 2, 3. So this converts a regular Python list to an np array. Now we can print the array and we can print the number of dimensions using the np and dim function. Fine. So here's our np array and here's the number of dimensions, one dimension. One dimensional arrays are called vectors. They contain all elements of the same type. You can check the type using the dtype attribute. So let's check the type of the elements of this array. Print a dtype int 32. So these are integers. If we use scalars, which are just integer or float values, they are regarded as zero dimensional arrays. Have a look. B equals NP array and just an integer here, 5. C equals NP array 3.8. Here we have a float. Now print B. print C and now let's check the number of dimensions of these two arrays. So print and P and dim B print and P and dim C. And here is the result. Our first array contains just one element, 5. Our C array contains 3.8. And now both B and C are zero dimensional. We can also create arrays of more than one dimension. This can be done by passing nested lists or tuples to the array method. Here's a two dimensional array. So, here we have a list of lists, so nested lists. Now let's use the np array method to convert it to an numpy array. So a equals np array of a. And now we can print our numpy array. As you can see, this is a two-dimensional array. Let's check it out using the endim function. Print a endim. So the number of dimensions, it's two, correct. And here's a three-dimensional array. Let's start by using nested lists, regular Python lists. And then let's use the np array function to convert these lists into a numpy array. So b equals np array of b. Fine. So let's print out our b array and let's check the number of dimensions, which should be 3. 
B and dim. Fine. So this is our three-dimensional NumPy array and the number of dimensions is 3. Instead of using the ending method of NumPy, like here, we can use the ending attribute directly on the array, like here. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.